Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Ben Gladwin. <laughs> Gladwin arrived as part of the squad overhaul by Gaffer Tony Mowbray in the summer of 2017, and initially I was a little bit excited about the lad. Gladwin, who had previously played at League One level with Swindon, was given a bit of a rough ride at QPR, hence the move to Ewood Park. Maybe the championship was a step too far for him at this stage of his career. Maybe he was at best a League One player. Well, I'm not sure on that last one. Gladwin found his appearances slim at Rovers this season, and when given the chance to stake a claim, he never really took advantage of it. The one massive opportunity he had which could have given his Rovers career a massive boost was the match against Plymouth Argyle at Ewood Park. The game was level and Rovers were on the front foot. Gladwin was in on goal with only the keeper to beat, but he blew the big chance to win the game. Since then, Gladwin has been riddled with injuries and had a huge loss in confidence. But is it all lost for Ben with Rovers? Can he bounce back now that we're in the Championship? Well, I'm not sure I'm willing to find out. Now, I've said this a few times with some of the French players, Rovers need to get straight on it next season in the Championship. We cannot afford for mediocre players. We need players willing to go that extra mile and I'm not sure Gladwin fits that bill. Don't get me wrong, he has some key attributes. However, I feel they may be best suited elsewhere. Anyway, there is not much to work with on Ben seeing as he has had limited game time this season. However, I'm going for a season performance of a D+. So let's take a look now at the numbers that matter for Ben Gladwin. All in all, he was involved in 18 matches for Rovers this season in all competitions. Um, and that's more likely to feature basically his name being on the bench, an unused substitute. He was, uh, didn't score no goals. However, he should have scored a goal. We all remember that Plymouth miss. He actually only played 28% of, of all time that he, uh, of all game time that he was available in. So that's that's going to bite him in the backside. He's actually substituted on six times and brought off three times in uh, those matches. As for League One, he only featured for five games for Rovers. Um, actually, basically got on the pitch. Uh, these numbers actually look a little bit off. Uh, three wins, one draw and one loss. That might be right. But 81 minutes, this is not right. This is, I'm sure it, we can probably do our own bit of math in a second. His last five matches look like this. Three wins, a draw and a loss. Both actually gone four games without a loss. Losing one in five. Five games without scoring. Again, he should, should have sorted that out. Uh, he's actually went on a three game winning streak. One game without a win and one losing streak. So, yeah. He's already, yeah, it's not 81 minutes. He's chalked up a bunch. He's not featured a full 90, though, according to these statistics. And realistically, when you look at these numbers, the future does not look good for Ben Gladwin at Blackburn Rovers. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.